Hi everyone, welcome back to another Cut Above with Chris. Now, little confession, I have had two shaves since my last shave. They've both been on camera. I do have both of them saved. They will upload eventually. I have been doing something out with my natural sort of YouTube channel. So, really looking forward to this one today. I'm going to be using Barrister Man Petricor. And the reason I'm using that is I received another mail call today from OV Chapel. Alex and he sent me a bottle of Petricor which smells amazing. Now I also purchased this from him which is the Rockwell 6C so I have it on setting 6 just now as you probably can't see you might be able to just see this, the R and the 6 so if the 6 is on the bottom it means it's 6 on the top in terms of the shave. Now I'm quite impressed with this, there's a lot of weight in it it's got a nice knurling on the handle, it looks good, there's no scratching or anything on it at all and the head, surprisingly, is quite nice. I didn't like the look of it on YouTube or in photographs or anything, when you get it in your hand it's a really nice razor. A lot of weight to it, so I'm not too bothered about getting the, the success if I'm honest. I think for how much these cost it's pretty good value, 50 bucks a st American and they're really good, quite impressed and I've got the Second plate I'm going to be using, which is the one in the three, so I'm going to shave off with the six for the two days growth, then I'm going to shave off with the three for the cross the grain, and then I'm going to switch over for the one for just a few touch ups here and there just to see what it feels like on those three settings. Now, I'm keeping this to an Oyve Chapel shave, so this is also from Oyve Chapel. This is. Carnivus and Richardson, Katie's Bubbles collaboration brush, two band TGM, the Golden Nib, finest knot, and you can see it's a beautiful knot. Right, just flicked out a good amount of water there. The good thing with Barrister Man is it sort of dries up really quick, dip the tips and away you go again. I've also got my camera sleuther set on auto exposure lock today just to try and stop the glare, so it should stay the same, I'll just have a nice shiny spot on my head here. So here we go, straight onto the silk. I think I've used this brush for one head shave and one face shave, and it was actually very good. I think I've got pretty much the right amount of water in it today, which is good. That's always my problem with natural hair brushes, trying to get the water content right in the brush for loading purposes. I'm normally having to go back to the water quite a bit, but it's looking good so far today. And if you haven't caught, if you didn't watch my last Morrison Fondren video, I didn't lose a single hair in that video. And believe it or not, I did another shave yesterday. And I only, I did actually lose half a hair where it sort of snapped, but I didn't lose any full hairs. So, I don't know, I could be on, I could be getting lucky now. But I've lost over a hundred hairs in that brush, which is quite substantial. Right, I'm happy with that. Very happy with that. One water shave. It was freezing today. Jobs get called off, but I've managed to move everything about, so we're still busy for the rest of the week. I am wearing my Man United shirt today, even though they were pretty average on Saturday night, Sunday morning as it was here. Got to support your team no matter what. Uh, I'm not dedicating this video to anyone either. I don't dedicate, I'm not, decided I'm not going to dedicate videos when I'm reviewing products or using new products. So I'm using the new aftershave today. That was the sun at the door there. My wife has just done me a nice bit of homemade banana bread. And a lovely cup of tea. Which is licorice. Very, very nice. Right, let's get back into painting this load on. Oh, I love Petricor. Now, for those of you that haven't used Petricor before, dirt and grass probably smell slightly different the world over, no matter where you are. But if you get your hose, if it's dry where you are, if it's wet, go outside and stick your nose down at the grass and have a smell. 
if it's really wet and damp. If it's not wet it with a hose and you pretty much smell petrichor, <laughs> grass and dirt. And it does smell absolutely lovely for me. I, I just think it's great. It reminds me so much when I was a kid. Most of my days were spent playing football in the fields and going for long walks to go fishing in locks. A locks like a small, a big pond or a small lake. Loch Lomond sort of thing. Well, I'm very, very happy with the lather. I'm just going to have a little dot of banana bread. <laughs> Why not? Oh yeah, lovely. Right, here we go. The Rockwell 6C. I've heard great things about the Rockwell. Not just this one, but the 6S as well. Let's just see how it goes. Setting six. Haven't mentioned the blade. The blade I'm using is a Gillette Nassi, one of my favourites. Feels a bit rough. Don't know whether. I'm not getting the angle right, I don't know. Feels a bit rough. And yet now it doesn't. I don't know what happened eh? I don't know whether it was just the initial few strokes with the blade, maybe, I don't know. This is very, very, it's almost bordering aggressive. Very good audio feedback. The soap's exceptional. I mean, as you can see, there's a good bit of blade gap there. Definitely a good bit of blade gap. Actually feels pretty good. The Oy Vey is actually at the moment over in Russia and he's been in Lithuania I think. Maybe have been Estonia, I'm not sure. Been a few places over visiting us. girlfriend and he's having an absolute ball and he deserves it. The guy's just he's such a generous bloke and he's also looking after my buddy Spencer. Let's getting some some stuff sent over to him. Right. Now, I'm just going to rinse my face off. Just let that sit for a second. I'm going to change the blade on camera. Well, not just the blade, I'm going to change the base plate. So I've done my first pass on setting six. So I'm going to whip this off now. Just keep a hold of the blade inside the top cap. I thought this was going to have a bit of a pain. I don't know why, but it's not actually that bad. Slot on the three plate, as you can see there. Well, you can't actually see it today, which is good. And then just screw the handle back on. It's lovely smooth, good weight to it, so really nice. It lines the blades up pretty good as well, I've got to say. Just do that all exposure lock again, it's flying all over the place. Right, so that was a lot quicker and a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. Right. Very, very soft knot this. You can 
beautiful face feel. There's no scratch or scratch with it at all. It does have a beautiful amount of scrub. And just need a little touch of water. Now, is it as good a ladder as I can make with a synthetic brush? This one certainly isn't. But when you use a soap like Barris the Man, it's got a beautiful gloss to it. I just find sometimes with the natural hair brushes that when you get to the point of painting with them, they sort of paint away the ladder, they sort of scrape it off as you go along. I don't get that with a synthetic, a synthetic sort of paints it on and it just keeps painting it on. For me anyway. Right, setting three now on the Rockwell 6C and let's just see how that feels across the green. Can definitely feel the aggressions it has halved easily. Doesn't feel anywhere near as aggressive as before, but it still feels reasonably efficient. And it's got amazing feedback. The feedback's great. I'm expecting this to be really, really good feedback on the video on YouTube once I've messed around with my audio settings. Now my videos don't look like I do a lot of editing but I actually do quite a bit of editing, not really with the picture or anything, I do quite a bit of editing with the actual sound quality as best I can. Which is why a lot of the times it sounds a little bit like I've got a fan on in the background. I spend a lot of time boosting notes and boosting sounds. Ordinarily would be quite quiet. Right, another little bit of banana loaf. Uh -huh. Can't go wrong when the wife brings you a cup of tea and a bit of cake. That cake itself is all paleo. Right, so let me wet the face again. I'm getting that same beautiful barrister and man slickness. Really nice. Right. Now ordinarily this is where I would struggle with a natural hairbrush, trying to get the third lather going. But I don't think I'm going to today, I think it's going to that's excellent, I'm really happy with that. End of the day, for the third pass, second, third and subsequent passes, you don't really need a thick lather. The thick lather was there for the setting six on the on the razor to protect you. It did that perfectly. The lathers here on in, I'm really looking for slickness. More than anything else, so there we go. Setting three on the Rockwell, across the grain other direction. I'm definitely, I love my single edge razors, I love the gem razors, but I'm definitely a double edge user. I prefer a double edge razor. Don't ask me why, 
I just do. This razor is superb. <laughs> it is so smooth. And with this blade in it, it's just exceptionally smooth. Oh, I'm really close at the moment. Obviously not BBS, but I am bloody close. Right, so down to setting one now for the pickups or touch-ups. I don't really do pickups because I don't go BBS. Just flip that plate straight around, pop it back on. And we should be on. Oh yeah, jeez, look at the difference in the gap there. This literally, in fact, this doesn't even look like it should shave. Right, just going to lather up with what was left in the brush. Really impressed with this little knot. Now you guys out there that have got the Katie's Bubbles Carnivus Richardson collaboration brush there's a little sticker normally on it sort of on here when I was polishing it, the, the aluminium had tarnished a bit I was polishing it and it actually started polishing the label off so I just peeled it off and I think personally it looks nicer without the label I think the label's a bit pedestrian looking if you haven't tried the licorice tea you should grab one, really strange sensation, you put it in your mouth and you swallow it, nothing happens and then sort of half a second later you get this explosion of licorice in your mouth, really nice stuff. Right, setting one, I'm going to go against the grain a little bit just to see how this feels. Well, I'll tell you how exactly how it feels, it feels invisible. It feels like there's nothing happening. Because I don't think anything is actually happening. Yeah, it's literally doing nothing. I've used some mild razors in my time, but that's far too mild. I'm going to switch it round to three again. So it's quite a quick change over, you're not messing about with it, it's quite quick. Oi has been trying to get me onto this razor for quite some time. I can understand why now. It's exceptionally smooth, it's comfortable, it's got a great weight to it, and this isn't even the, the six years, this is the This is the cheaper baby brother. And it's smashed it today. Really impressed. Oh 
Well, ladies and gentlemen, that was shit hot. Really enjoyed that. I mean, that's as close as I've been without actually really going against the grain much. My skin feels great. I don't feel irritated at all. I've managed to go against the grain on my lips and round here and on my cheeks without feeling anything uncomfortable at all. I could probably have done a bit more, but don't want to push it. It's a new razor. Been, seem to find the angle quite well. Setting six was aggressive. And I think the tugging of the roughness, it wasn't tugging the rough feeling, could just be that it's an aggressive razor. I haven't used an aggressive razor on my face for quite some time. Setting nine on a Gillette Vintage is the closest I've come. But yeah, I'm really impressed with that. Both shave moisturised. It's great. And now I'm going to finish off, I'm really looking forward to this, with Petricor Aftershave from Barrister and Man, which was kindly sent to me, brand new, from Oi Bay Chapel. Thank you very much, mate. And it smells great, it smells even better than the, than the soap does. Oh, what a shave. Right. There wasn't even much burn there. Oh. Who the hell, why the hell do I like the smell of dirt and grass? I can go out in the garden and get this, but this is just wonderful. Really is nice. What a shave. So the soap today was Petricor from Barrister and Man. It's the Glissant based formula. Oh, nearly chucked it away. Yeah, and it literally is dirt and grass. If you like dirt and grass, you'll love this stuff. The brush today was a Carnivus Richardson. Katie's Bubble Collaboration, it's aluminium handle. Long handle, 24mm, the golden nib, two band, and this has been broken in by OEV and it's really in top notch condition, ready for shaving. Rockwell 6C, very, very impressed. Didn't know how it was going to be, but I'm really, really impressed with this razor. It's got a lot of weight in it. It feels, even though it's a cheaper version, it feels quality, it looks quality, it looks the part. Comes pretty well packaged as well, I don't have the packaging through there. And finishing off with Petrico from Barrister and Man. And that's it, I'm not going to put anything else on, no moisturiser. The Barrister and Man just does a wonderful job of that for you without doing anything else. Feeling good now. So I'm going to be moving on to my head shave next. I'm going to tidy up a little bit, get stuck into the head shave, which is going to be a bit of a different one. So thanks very much for tuning in. Stay safe, drive safe, don't drink and drive. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Cheers. <laughs>